Hello and welcome to our 19th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today we're diving into a crucial component of automotive systems, the Exhaust Gas Temperature Sensor, or EGT sensor for short. By the end of this session, you'll understand what it is, why it matters, how it works, and how to check if it's failing. So let's get started. First, let's understand what an exhaust gas temperature sensor is. Imagine your car as a human body. Just like how we check our body temperature to ensure we're healthy, the EGT sensor checks the temperature of the exhaust gases coming from the engine. In simple terms, it measures how hot the gases are as they exit the engine. This information is vital for the engine control unit, ECU to make sure everything is running smoothly. Now why is this sensor important? Think of it like this. If you cook food at the wrong temperature, it can burn or be undercooked. Similarly, if the exhaust gases are too hot or too cold, it can indicate problems in the engine. The EGT sensor helps in. Now let's talk about where the EGT sensor is located. The sensor is usually found in the exhaust system, often placed before and after the catalytic converter. This position allows it to accurately monitor the temperature of the gases at different points just like checking the water temperature at different stages of cooking. Let's break down how the EGT sensor actually works, step by step. As the exhaust gases flow past the sensor, they heat it up. The sensor then converts this heat into an electrical signal. This electrical signal is sent to the engine control unit, ECU. Think of the ECU as the brain of your car, just like how you make decisions based on temperature when cooking. Now let's talk about what happens with that data. The ECU receives the temperature data from the sensor. It compares this information with ideal temperature ranges. If the temperature is too high or too low, the ECU will adjust the fuel-air mixture and ignition timing. This is similar to you adjusting the heat on your stove if the water is boiling too hard or not boiling at all. This adjustment helps optimize engine performance reduce emissions, and prevent damage. Real-time monitoring is crucial. The EGT sensor continuously checks the temperature as you drive, ensuring the engine runs efficiently. For example, if you're climbing a steep hill, the engine works harder and the exhaust temperature rises. The EGT sensor sends this information to the ECU, which adjusts settings to prevent overheating. By monitoring exhaust temperature, it helps keep your engine healthy and efficient, much like how a good cook monitors their food. Now let's talk about the types of exhaust gas temperature sensors. There are mainly two types. Thermocouple sensors. These are the most common. They generate a voltage that changes with temperature. They are quick and reliable. Thermistor sensors. These are less common, but can be used for specific applications. Each type has its advantages, but both serve the same fundamental purpose, measuring exhaust temperature. So how do you know if your exhaust gas temperature sensor is failing? Here are some signs to watch out for. If this light comes on, it could mean the EGT sensor is having issues. If your car feels sluggish, or doesn't accelerate smoothly, it might be due to a faulty sensor. If your vehicle is emitting more smoke or pollutants than usual, the EGT sensor could be the culprit. A loud or unusual sound from the exhaust can indicate problems. If you suspect your EGT sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. You'll need a multimeter, basic hand tools, and safety gloves. Find the EGT sensor in your exhaust system. Use the multimeter to measure the resistance of the sensor at room temperature. Refer to the manufacturer's specifications for normal values. Start your vehicle and measure the voltage output from the sensor. It should vary with temperature. If your readings are outside the normal range, it's time to replace the sensor. And that wraps up our session on exhaust gas temperature sensors. Understanding this component helps you maintain your vehicle better and ensures safe driving. Our next video in this series will be on diesel particulate filter pressure sensor. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for joining us today and see you next time.